Hello, let's take a look at a shader here by Paolo Falco. Falco! <laughs> there we go. It comes from Shader Toy, so you can press those. But uh, let's have a look at what we've done inside of Zim. So I'm going to reduce this down. And here, here is the code. We're working on Zim 016. And this is the code for the fragment that comes from Shader Toy right here. Blah, 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 blah. But that makes those blobs. Not bad, really. And somebody else has made it, Paolo. Um, there's all sorts of them there. And, or you can make your own shaders. Here's what we did in Zim to make this come into the canvas. So we set up these things called uniforms. We actually don't need any uniforms for this case, but uh, we do for other shaders. Here's the shader code right here. And then let's see what do we got if you comment it out and then make shader. So that shader code works in two different ways. Um, and this is the sort of the top of the one. And in both cases, we call sh uh, shader, make shader. So make shader is down here. And here's what we're doing to prepare for that. Bring in uniforms all this vertex stuff. So this, all of this stuff, or most of that stuff, and most of the stuff down below is how you get shaders in raw JavaScript to work in the WebGL uh, context. All this stuff is needed to be able to do that. And then Zim, we added some stuff in here on that main template, which is this stuff right here to handle easily bringing in uniforms and stuff. But the rest of this is sort of template stuff that already exists to get shaders working in JavaScript. All right, wow, isn't that amazing? And then this just happens to be the S, the by, and the Zim logo down there. So you might be thinking, oh, amazing, huh? Already, what this turns out to be, delete, 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 delete. You ready? So all that stuff, scroll that one more time. Okay, ready? Bum, 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 bum. Paste. New Zim shader, I don't know, we need the Zim. New shader, pass in the width and the height of the shader and the fragment code and add it to the stage. And refresh. Still works. <laughs> Amazing, huh? So isn't that brilliant? New shader, pass in the fragment code, basically. Add it to the stage or whatever you want to do with it. And that converts the shader on WebGL into a bitmap that can be seen in the Canvas 2D. So it converts from Canvas 3D to Canvas 2D. Uh, the performance seems pretty good. It will be less than if you were working on WebGL, but that allows you to bring this shader in and use it uh, for things like this. So right here, you see the background Z. That is a shader right on there just as part of the the icon. We've got that throughout the same. So in other words, actually, there's two shaders in here. This is the icon shader. All right. Wow, isn't that amazing? And so we're rolling this out as part of Zim 016. See you there soon.